hello class 8 so we have been studying chapter number 9 yes reproduction in organism yes so reproduction in animals we have been studying so the last topic that we studied the last topic that we studied is uh, in front of you yes as you can see on the screen the last topic female reproductive organs okay today we will study about uh, male cell we will also study about the female cell yes male cell means uh, sperm and uh, female cell means ovum yes you already know that uh, male cell is also known as male gamete male cell is also known as male gamete or you can say sperm yes female cell is also known as female gamete or you can say ovum ovum is singular ova is plural yes female cell is also known as female gamete or ovum or egg yes we can also call it egg Mm, this is the biggest uh, cell in a female body okay and uh, we will see their pictures also yes we will see their pictures also we will study about uh, zygote fertilization and with the help of different different pictures yes so before we start uh, let's revise whatever we studied in previous class yes so as you can see female reproduction so female reproductive organ you can see on the um, screen female reproductive organ there are many different different parts of female reproductive organ yes there are different different parts of female reproductive organ yes it is made of fallopian tube which is actually known as oviduct Say okay, and uh, just below the oviduct, ovary is present. Just below the oviduct, a pair of ovary is present, mm -hmm. and uh, at the center is a uterus is present where the baby develops. Yes, where the baby de develops uterus, and uh, the the small <coughs> gap uh, is known as cervix. Okay. and just below it vagina is present okay and the wall of uterus is is actually endometrium which is known as endometrium okay and so uh, you know that the female the main parts of there are three main parts of female reproductive organ yes there are three main parts of female reproductive organ ovary oviduct and uterus yes ovary oviduct uterus o oviduct is also known as fallopian tube oviduct is also known as fallopian tube okay and uh, you know that female reproductive organ produce female cell female reproductive organ produces female cell or you can say or you can also say that female reproductive organ produce female gamete or ovum or egg yes there are three three name female reproductive organ produce female cell or female gamete or ovum or egg yes uh, so the ovary produce the female gamete yes which part of female reproductive organ produce the egg ovary ovary produce the egg or you can say ovary produce female cell yes ovary produces female cell so a single matured cell or you can say single matured egg a single matured egg is released uh, by ovary into oviduct yes uh, okay uterus is that part uh, uterus is the part where the development of baby take place okay um, so remember kids uh, female cell is a single cell or you can say female gamete is single cell or you can say ovum is a single cell or you can say egg is a single cell yes so it was all about female reproductive organ now let's talk about the male reproductive organ so male reproductive organ produce male cell 
male reproductive organ produces male cell yes so male cell is also known as sperm yes sperm is a single cell sperm is a single cell sperm is a male cell egg is a female cell and both are single cell and both are single cell okay and uh, you know that uh, there are different parts of uh, uh, male reproductive organ uh, like uh, bladder scrotum testes epididymis epididymis yes epididymis scrotum testes pubic bone uh, and uh, penis um, and uh, spongy urethra so there are different different parts so but if we talk about the main parts there are three main parts of male reproductive organ yes there are three main parts of female sorry there are three main parts of male reproductive organ there are three main parts of male reproductive organ uh, one pair of testes sperm duct to sperm duct and penis okay male testes sperm duct and penis okay and uh, uh, you know as you know that male reproductive organ produce male cell or you can say male reproductive organ produce male gamete okay so from which part of the male reproductive organ from which part of male reproductive organ does the uh, sperm or you can say male cell is produce the testes produce male cell called sperms the testes produce male gametes called sperm okay and millions of sperms are produced by the testes millions of sperms are produced by the testes okay i hope uh, you understood so we studied about them okay and you know what is sexual reproduction what is sexual reproduction the reproduction in which the both male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ involved to give birth to new individual is called sexual reproduction yes the reproduction in which the both in both means male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ involved to give birth to new individual is called sexual reproduction okay now let's study about the uh, female cell okay let's move on the next point okay so let's study about the female reproductive organ produce female cell yes so female cell is also known as ovum yes female cell is also known as ovum or you can say female cell is also known as female gamete gamete so you can see the picture of ovum yes you can see the picture of ovum there are different parts of um, ovum like nucleus uh, and uh, the cytoplasm so there are different different parts of the this cell so if a female cell a female cell is actually a reproductive cell yes it is a reproductive cell or you can say it is a gamete okay and um, do you know what is the meaning of ovule o v u l e ovule ovule what is the meaning of ovule actually the term ovule is used for the young ovum of an animal yes if the ovum is young yes then for o in the place of ovum we will use the term ovule we will use the term ovule okay the ov term ovule is used for the young ovum of an animal okay and it is ovule is also used for the plant structure Uh, it is also used for the plant structure that carries female gametophyte okay or you can say female cell okay okay so what is the meaning of ovum what is the meaning of ovum ovum means egg ovum means egg or you can say ovum means egg cell okay ovum means egg or egg cell ovum is singular word ova is plural so ovum what is ovum ovum is a haploid female yes it is a haploid female cell yes 
uh, he employed reproductive cell which is responsible for the fertilization okay or you can say it is a gamete okay gamete or you can say haploid female doesn't matter whatever you can you whatever you want to call it you can call okay both animals and uh, embryophytes have ova yes embryophytes means what embryophytes means those animal which have embryo yes those animals which have embryo to produce to give birth to the baby yes embryo help to give the birth to the baby so animals who have embryophytes and uh, ova they have this haploid female cell okay and you already know the term ovule means uh, young ovum of animal as well as it is uh, it is found in the plant structure that carries female gametophyte yes it also carries egg cell okay and develops into seed after fertilization yes so in in the plant this female gametophyte um, means uh, uh, means egg cell uh, which is carried by uh, which is carried by young ovum okay which is also known as ovule okay i hope uh, that you studied i hope you uh, understood now okay the let's uh, talk about uh, the next sperm okay you can see this diagram also in your book okay this diagram is also in your book okay you can check out now let's move on the next point okay it's sperm let's talk about the sperm sperm is uh, also known as uh, male cell or you can say male gamete yes it is also known as male cell or male gamete okay so so get the sperm was first observed by a scientist whose name is uh, antony van leeuwenhoek yes who observed the first time the sperm it was obs observed by it was discovered by a scientist whose name a chemist actually it is chemist so antony van leeuwenhoek you know, or you can it is a biologist sorry and this man is actually a biologist who discovered uh, sperm yes in 1677 yes in 1677 a biologist antony van leeuwenhoek who observed sperm first time using a microscope okay and uh, he found that uh, the sperms are produced by testes yes he found that the sperms are produced by testes okay yes um, sperms are actually very small in size yes sperms are very small in size okay and uh, as you know that uh, every sperm is a single cell yes every sperm is a single cell and uh, with the all usual cell component and uh, inside the sperm inside the sperm all the component of cells present <coughs> inside the sperm all the component of cells present yes you know there are different uh, component of the cell means parts of the cell like mitochondria yes do you remember uh, lysosome yes and uh, other parts like uh, dna uh, ribosome nucleus vacuole um, plasma so uh, and uh, you can say um, all these uh, liquid uh, liquid is also present so all these parts are present yes all these parts are present inside it okay i hope you understood yeah, okay mm, well this name is not given antony van leeuwenhoek this name is not given in your book antony van leeuwenhoek this name is not given in your book but i, I have written 
just for your knowledge purpose i have written that uh, antony van leeuwen who first time observed in 1677 the sperm okay now uh, let me show you the picture of male cell and female cell okay in a different way let's move on the next point okay kids can you see a snake like structure can you see can you see a snake like structure yes snake like structure this uh, snake like structure is what is this can you see a white color structure yes looking like earth or a white ball can you see white ball or looking like earth can you see what is this yes actually they are cell actually they are two different cell yes the snake like structure is a male cell yes the snake like structure or you can say it is like earth form yes i think earth form is the perfect word for this cell yeah so it looks like earth form so it is actually um, male cell or you can say male gamet so um, if we talk about the sperm if we talk about the sperm um, as you can see in the picture that uh, uh, sperms are actually very small in size yes sperms are very small in size and they have a head at the top they have a head h e a d head at the top and uh, and a middle piece uh, which is little bit thick and the last part is uh, tail which is looking like snake okay um, so it has a head middle part and tail okay so it has three different parts this it has three different parts yes uh, the top part is known as head head the top part is known as head okay and uh, the covering of head the covering of head is known as acrosome yes the covering of head is known as acrosome yes the covering of head is known as acrosome yes the covering of head is known as acrosome and just below the head just below the head is neck just below the head is neck okay just below the head is neck and uh, the center part is called mid piece yes the center part is known as mid piece yes the center part is known as mid piece and the last part which is looking like snake thin snake is known as tail the last part is actually known as tail okay the last part is actually known as tail okay so these are the different parts of a male cell okay these are the different parts so it is when uh, male cell involved with female cell then they actually um, carry the process of reproduction ahead okay and uh, you can see the picture of female cell or you can also call it female egg so you can see like white color in white structure so when they meet with each other then fertilization process occur yes because of male cell and female cell yes because of human sperm and female egg because of human sperm and female egg fertilization process occur so now let's uh, try to study and find out the meaning of fertilization what is fertilization let's move on the next point okay kids so the first step of sexual reproduction is fertilization yes the first step of sexual reproduction is fertilization so what happens in this first step so in first step 
the male cell in the first step the male cell which is known as male gamete also or you can call ovum okay ovum is the best word ovum is the best word uh, so in first step what happens so now i am reading the steps of sexual reproduction this is the first step so the male cell means sperm and female cell means ovum sperm and ovum ovum fuse with each other fuse with each other means they involve with each other yes they combine so when sperm come in contact with egg what happens when a sperm come in contact with egg yes when a sperm come in contact with egg then what happens then because of their contact because of their involving uh, they fuse with they fuse means one of the sperm fuse with another egg one sperm fuse fuse with one egg one sperm fuse with one egg so because of this fusion this fusion such fusion of the egg and sperm such fusion of egg and sperm is known as fertilization so this process is known as fertilization so they meet with each other and then what happens i will show you in next slide wait keep patience when they fuse when one egg fuse with one sperm i mean to say when one sperm meet with one egg or you can say one sperm involved with one egg then they fuse when they fuse what happens their fusion is known as fertilization this process of fusing with each other is known as fertilization okay so what happens because of them let's find out let's move on the next point so kids as you can see the process of fertilization i have written in detail and the process of fertilization i have written in detail okay so fertilization involves the fusion of male and female cells gamete yes this is the definition of fertilization what is fertilization what is fertilization what is fertilization what is fertilization the fusion of male cell and female cell is called fertilization the fu fusion of male cell and female cell is called fertilization or you can say the fusion of male gamete and female gamete is called fertilization so the male and female gamete uh, are released from the male and female reproductive organ yes you know male reproductive organ release which gamete male gamete female ga reproductive organ release which gamete female gamete yes male reproductive organ releases male gamete or you can say male cell female reproductive organ releases male gamete or you can female gamete or you can say female cell okay sperm or male gametes sperms or male gametes are released from different organs yes like uh, for example like uh, i mean to say i mean to say that i mean to say that uh, penis penis which is the part of male reproductive organ penis which is the part of male reproductive organ uh, which release the ma male cell and vagina which is the part of um, reproductive organ where the fem where the ovum um, reaches okay so these sperms when they enter when the sperms enter into the female body through the vagina then they travel through the fallopian tube yes they travel through the fallopian tube means flap fallopian tube is also known as oviduct so when these uh, male cells reaches into the female body means uh, female reproductive organ okay female reproductive organ they travel and goes into the fallopian tube means oviduct where they meet with egg yes because ovary produce the egg which comes through the fallopian tube and when the reaches when the male cell reaches to the egg near the egg 
which are present in which come which are in the fallopian tube and in the fallopian tube fertilization take place in the fallopian tube fertilization take place so the process of fertilization take place in the fallopian tubes okay so as you can see the picture human egg cell means female cell and male cell which is like looking like snake sperm okay so egg and sperm combine and uh, they form the embryo they form the embryo okay they form the embryo but uh, before forming the embryo when zygote is formed before embryo zygote is formed okay before embryo zygote is formed okay so during fertilization the haploid nucleus um, means uh, the single nucleus of the sperm and uh, that of the ovum also fuse with each other and they form the zygote yes after forming zygote zygote divide continuously and embryo is formed so what happens what happens let me again tell you first of all egg cell egg cell means female cell female cell come from ovary to fallopian tube okay sperm sperm enter into the female reproductive organ and reaches to fallopian tube when sperm meet with egg cell when sperm meet with egg cell means when they involve when they fuse when they fuse then this process is known as fertilization and due to fertilization zygote is formed due to this process zygote is formed then what happens zygote is also a single cell zygote start dividing and it forms embryo it forms an embryo and embryo slowly turns and after some days it develops into a fetus it develops into a fetus okay i hope you understood about it now let's move on the next point okay kids it's time to ask question from you question number 1 what is fertilization explain it yes what is fertilization so the fusion of male gamete and female gamete in fallopian tubes is known as fertilization yes the fusion of male gamete and female gamete in fallopian tube is known as fertilization yes so the what is so if we talk about the process of fertilization in detail then we can say that uh, the male and the female gametes are released from male and female reproductive organ yes the male and the female gametes are released from male and female reproductive organ sperm or you can also call it male gamete are released from male reproductive organ i mean to say penis and uh, uh, these uh, sperm or you can say male gametes then enter into female body through the vagina then the travel through the fallopian tube then the travel and uh, through the fallopian tubes where they meet with egg where they meet with eggs hence the process of fertilization take place in fallopian tube so during fertilization the haploid nucleus of sperm uh, and uh, haploid nucleus of sperm means one cell um, containing sperm and uh, that of the ovum fuse with each other to form the zygote this zygote divides to form an embryo which in turn develops into a fetus what is the spelling of fetus f o e t u s f o e t u s question number 2 write a short note on following ovum and sperm yes write a short note on following ovum and sperm so what is human ovum an ovum or in plural you can say ova and what is the meaning of ovum ovum means egg cell or you can say egg so an em an ovum is a haploid female reproductive cell haploid female reproductive means it is a single cell okay um, and um, both animals uh, and uh, em embryophytes have ova yes animals have ovum and embryophyte also have ova 
ova or you can say embryophytes have ovum okay uh, the term ovule is actually meaning means a young ovum young ovum okay uh, as well as the plant structure that carries female gametophyte and egg cell and develops into a seed after fertilization yes so this ovule is actually young ovum you can call so it reaches uh, and develop into seed after fertilization okay i hope uh, you understood okay in this actually this young ovum or you can say uh, ovule is actually carry the female gametophyte yes female cell it carry the female cell okay i hope you understood and what is sperm sperm is actually sperm word first observed in 1677 yes sperm first time observed by uh, antony van leeuwenhoek through uh, using a microscope the sperms are produced by testes yes the sperms are produced by testes through sperm yeah we know that though the sperms are very small and each has a head each has a head middle piece and tail okay and uh, each sperm is a single cell with all user component and the head of the covering of the head is called acrosome okay i hope uh, and it also has neck okay question number 3 draw the diagram of sperm yes you will draw the diagram of sperm which is which look like snake you can see in, in the viewer book also okay i hope you understood now fertilization process is over in next class i will show you um, fertilization process with the help of diagrams okay then we will also study the different type of fertilization process um, okay we'll meet in next class most of the thing i will show you only diagram okay till then bye bye